Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Uh, we'll get started shortly here. Welcome. Uh, welcome, everyone. Get started shortly. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, this is our um, stocks, options, and futures class. Uh, so welcome, everyone. Let's go ahead and get started. Lots of information to go over. Uh, we do have good news um, as far as uh, we've got a sector that's um, breaking out. All right. Uh, so we'll go over that. All right. Uh, so welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, I want to start this evening with uh, the Dow, all right? We've been talking about the Dow. Um, the Dow broke um, uh, broke support right here at that 30,000 mark. It got as low as, um, it got as low as, let's see here. Uh, I think it got as, as low as 28,700, um, pulled up a bit. Uh, the good news for the for the equity markets is that we have a the current month. This is a monthly time frame, so the current month uh, we've got a white candle. So no longer do we have a red candle like here. All right, so we have a white candle. Hopefully, um, you know we're coming towards the end of the month here. So hopefully, um, buyers will hold, keep the price on the Dow above. 30,000, all right? And hopefully um, we can see November 
right? We get some buying in, in November, December, and, and have that Christmas rally, all right? So we are hoping for something similar uh, to this. And, uh, and then I'll open the floor for questions after I'm done here. All right, all right. so what so we're what hoping we for, uh, what we're hoping for is, uh, let's see. Uh, what we're hoping for is uh, right here. So what we're hoping for is a green candle, right? Green candles, buyers coming in followed by the, that, the white candles. So red candle, white candle, green candle, right? And then continuing through that trend. Just like here, just like here, just like here just like here, just like here. So that's the hope, all right? That's the hope. So um, market's looking better, right? We're not out of the woods yet, but it is improving. Buyers are holding that 30,000 support. Hey, no, Naomi. And uh, hey, Arthur, welcome guys. Um, so uh, that's good, all right? Good for the market. I'm holding that support on the Dow. All right. All right. Uh, oh, hey, Charity Suede and Kawisi, welcome, guys. Um, let's take a look at the um, uh, the equity markets. All right, we'll take a look at the futures right now. All right, uh, the market was down a bit uh, today, closed down. Currently, the futures are down. All right, if you guys take a look at the Dow right now, right, it's holding right here, right near resistance right here, white candles here, all right. Uh, the NASDAQ, all right, it's moving back down. So if you guys look here, it's moving back down, all right. So if we get selling tomorrow and into next week, it could retest support down in here, down, or I, I wouldn't say support, a low down in here, all right. I'm still in the markdown phase, still in the markdown phase, all right? Uh, same thing for the S&P, all right? Now on the S&P, we do have um, really good support right here. So we have really good support right here. So if it gets lower, so what's tomorrow, uh, early next week, we could break that support down here and get into re distribution okay redistribution so uh, we'll keep an eye on that and then the russell same thing with the russell uh, really good support if you guys look here got really good support these lines down here uh, really good support down here all right really good support so if it breaks that support next week that's redistribution new sellers or entering the market, right? To push the market lower, all right? So we'll keep an eye on that, all right? Um, the dollar um, pull back a bit and then um, still holding, all right? It's still holding. We'll go over that um, on Sunday, all right? On Sunday, we'll go over more of that, but still holding, all right? Um, let's see here. On the weekly time frame, the Dow, the S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell, all right, um, still holding, all right, still holding. This is on the weekly time frame. We've moved it from the 240. We were hoping to get buy signals on the 240 and that failed, all right? Um, right here on the down, like I said, holding support right here, all right? And again, S&P, Russell, NASDAQ, very similar, all right? Um, the VIX is coming down. So that's good for stocks. The VIX is coming down, right? You guys remember we made a high of about 25, 25, 26, right above here. All right. It's coming down right now. It's below 20. I mean, it's below 30. So it's 29 and change. That's good. All right. That's good for the VIX. 
And as you guys know, as the VIX comes down, the VIX is the VIX volatility index. So as the VIX comes down, right, that's bullish for stocks. Stocks will go higher. All right, stocks will go higher. So it's at 29 right now. Ideally, we would like it to get, right, here is 20 right here. We need it to come down further, all right, come down further and then get below 20. We need red candles, red candles, sellers coming in to push that big slower, right? The stock market likes low volatility or almost no volatility for it to move higher, all right? It's the opposite in Forex, all right? So um it's it's moving down slowly moving down and again that's good for stocks it's at 29 and change all right so we need it to get lower ideally below uh below 20 all right all right the good news the good news is that um the sectors, the energy sector, all right? Energy sector right here. Although it's the only sector, it's the only sector, guys, that's moving higher, all right? All of all the sectors out there, all right? All the sectors, the major sectors that retract, all right? Like technology, financials, materials, biotech, home builders, home construction, healthcare, transportation, telecom, right? The only one, right? The only sector that's moving higher right now um, is energy. And we did get a buy signal in energy today, which is good. All right. Hey, Gerald, welcome. Hey, David. Hello. All right. So, good news. All right. So, look here. We have a buy signal. Right? We have a buy signal in energy. All right. So, that's good. So, those of you, those of you who trade Stock Boss, Bullmaster, all right, um, charity, I know you do. Uh, we need to start really looking at uh, energy stocks. All right, that's the only play we have now, and it's a new rotation, okay? All right, so let's go through that, okay? I want to show you guys the chart. So what we got today, right? What happened today? why we, we call the rotation in energy. All right. All right. So here in um, monster sectors, we have here's energy. So here's our energy sector, guys. Here's our energy sector. And here we are, right? We got a buy signal today. Here we are, broke resistance, all right? Nice upward trend, right? A bit of consolidation in here, but we get in, we're breaking through, right? We're breaking through that consolidation. So if you guys look here, all right? This is where it failed before. So almost, almost the same place, we're getting a buy signal, okay? So hopefully we stay above, it failed here the last time, failed, right? Sellers came in, failed here, all right? Sellers came in, failed here, sellers came in. So hopefully, hopefully this time around, we can get a move similar to what happened here on this break right here. So we'll go ahead and start taking positions, all right? We go ahead and start, uh, we'll, we've called this a rotation here, all right? Um, and here it is, it's up right here. Down for the day, but definitely up, okay? Uh, the overall market, it's still in a markdown phase, but energy, we can see. The last move we had, um, uh, energy did really well, all right? And you guys, um, I know we noticed that in gas prices, right? Gas prices went up, uh, energy stocks did really well. So hopefully we could get a similar move, all right? So um, buyers are coming in, buy signal, break of resistance. So that's good news, all right? All 
All right, let's take a look at some of the stocks that are setting up. Uh, energy stocks, energy stocks, okay? So uh, let's see here. So in uh, Stock Boss, our Stock Boss system, all right, Heat Seeker. So this ran today. And again, we track over 22,000 stocks. And these are the stocks that came up today. All right. So we have some energy stocks here. So uh, this one here, all right, RIG doesn't have a buy signal yet. All right. Does not have a buy signal yet. All right. This one here has a buy signal. All right, and this is setting up, this chart looks very much like the sector, the energy sector, okay? All right, ideally we want those to be coming down, right, through that markdown phase, all right? Get some accumulation, break resistance, all right, and then move higher, but this is not bad all either, right? Um, the only concern is at the top of the chart there, all right? So um, here's the buy signal right here, and it's breaking resistance, all right? The entry was at, uh, what, what's that? Uh, 832, and it's moving higher, okay? Um, and it's, it's gotten through that consolidation, okay? It's a high consolidation, but uh, it can still move higher, right? Here is your support, resistance, breaking resistance, okay? All right, so this is one to keep on, on the radar. Um, RES, RES, this is a good one here, all right, RES. So charity, you need to start looking more closely, all right, to your, um, to your heat seeker, all right, um, start building your list. Uh, let's see here. All right, markdown phase, accumulation, buy signal, all right, buyers are coming in, all right? And again, these are energy stocks, all right? So we have, we have five, is that five here? No buy signal yet, all right, on OIS. And OLL, this is one to keep on the radar, OLL, keep this on the radar, no buy signal yet, getting ready to break resistance. All right. In Bull Master, we've got some, we've got more opportunities. We've got two, four, six, eight, uh, ten, or ten or so. Um, let's go through them. This is the uh, let's see here. All right. So WHD, look at this. Nice buy signal. Now these stocks in Bull Master are a bit more expensive. All right. So breaking resistance here. Here's where we've got pretty good support right here. All right, pretty good support. All right, support here, support here. All right, resistance here, here. So this area here, very important guys. And here we are, we broke that pretty convincingly. All right, pretty convincingly. All right, so. Any questions on any of this? Any questions as I go through this? Any questions? Um, so H, uh, WHD, keep an eye on that. All right, BKR, BKR, nice markdown phase. All right, look at this. BKR, definitely keep an eye on this one. Uh, we should get a buy signal soon. Uh, here is support down here at 20. Pretty good support here, here, all right. Over here is where we got the previous buy signal. So this one is setting up perfectly, right? All right, this is where we got the previous buy signal, right? Right here, perfect buy signal right here. 
right? And this was the previous trade. Bought here, sold here on the break of this support. Here was a trade here, very profitable trade. So here we are right here. All right, so tomorrow, Monday, if, if energy holds, we should get a buy signal. All right, you guys see that? You guys see that right here? Almost identical. Here was the previous buy. And here we are right now. All right, held support. Held support. Held support down here. Okay, so keep an eye on this. All right. Okay, so that's BKR, 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 and pretty good volume on that one, guys. We have good volume. Um, we've got, on that one, we've got so 207 so well, uh, hey, million, million, million shares. Okay, so if you guys look here, a lot of volume. Keep an eye on this one. BKR, right here, we have 207 million shares being traded, all right? And again, energy right here. So they're really um, getting into this stock right here. No guarantee. There's no guarantee. Hey, Ranjit, there's no guarantee, right, that, that it will continue to move higher, but the setup is uh, absolutely perfect. Great setup. All right. All right. All right. So let's go. Uh, let's keep going. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, CVI. CVI looks very similar. All right. To the sector. Looks very similar to the sector here. Um, if you guys look here, if you guys look here, here is the sec. Here is um, uh, here it is right here, breaking resistance. If you guys notice, a lot of these. No, we'll get more. All right. So as energy moves higher, right? As the sector move higher, we'll get more stocks, right? But if you guys notice, right? They are. Uh, you know, the ones we're looking at, they're breaking resistance, right? They're making, they're making highs, all right? So that's good. Uh, P-U-M-P, P-U-M-P, right here, P-U-M-P, right? Right here, looks very similar. You guys should see a pattern ha happening here. All right, price, nice markdown phase, just like previous, right? Markdown phase, right? Markdown phase, a bit of a markdown phase here. Uh, this is the best trade we have. This is the only trade we have now in stocks, energy, right? There's nothing else to trade. There's no, there's no other sector breaking out energy is the only sector so this is it and we haven't been trading for a while now so this is good right this is good if we trade stocks all right so let's draw this out all right so support is here where they held the floor held the price right support so we know $7, that's pretty good support. All right, they held it here again. All right, so we know this line right here, pretty good support. All right, we have a buy signal right here. All right, almost just like the other trade we just looked at. Here was the previous buy. All right, here was the trade. All right, that we got the meter of the trade. All right, bought here, sold here. 
markdown phase, and here we go right here with the buy signal. And look what the price is doing, all right? So pump, P-U-M-P, all right? P-U-M-P, I'll go through a few more, P-U-M-P. And if you look here, almost identical, guys. Look here now, we need to follow this, right? Almost identical, right? Almost identical. Here was our previous buy signal. Here is our current buy signal right here. All right, so hopefully we'll get a move, right? Kind of like this here. All right. Couple more. All right, same thing here. CVI, we've got a high buy signal. Same thing, breaking out. Uh, we did that already. PBR, PBR, no buy signal yet on that one. PAAR, PARR. Look at this one here, nice breakout, right? Nice breakout, very rough consolidation in here, okay? But look at the breakout here. Nice breakout, all right, of right, getting past resistance. Okay, so nice breakout. Look at that. Big candle coming in. We like to see that, right? PBR, buy signal here. Not a great consolidation, all right? Pretty rough, but buy signal. This would be a tough one to trade, but buy, buy signal. We'll count the buy signal. Uh, NEX, NEX, all right, a little smoother price action here, all right. Here is resistance right here. You guys get the idea. Here's resistance, buy signal moving higher, okay? So all these energy stocks are. Uh, New, that's a new breakout, right? It's a new breakout, all right? And then the last one, NOV, NOV. Look at this one here, very similar. These charts look very similar, all right? So NOV, break of resistance right here, pull back a bit, and now it's moving higher, okay? Moving higher, all right? So. Energy, energy, energy. And hopefully um, it will hold, all right? But capital is definitely getting into uh, energy, all right? Um, uh, Charity, are you, um, have you started building any um, a watch list or any positions yet in, um, in energy? Yeah, I haven't like marked them down yet, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I just haven't seen enough movement with enough of them. Okay. Okay. Keep an eye on it. All right. Keep an eye on them. It's an early move. It just happened today. Right. It just happened today. So start, start paying attention. Um, if it holds and the sector continues to move higher, all right, we'll see more stocks. All right. So we'll see. Um, this is not a lot for stock boss. All right. But it's picking up. All right, so if it continues, we'll see more, um, more energy stocks. Now, the overall market now, the overall market is still bearish, okay? So um, I wouldn't go heavy, all right, because the overall market is still bearish, but just that sector, just that sector, just that energy sector um, is moving higher, all right? All right, any questions for me? whether it's on, um, on this or anything else. Any questions for me, guys? Any questions for me? I have a general question. Okay. Um, so as day traders, 
we're supposed to have an exit plan. Uh, and how, so that can sometimes last uh, a few days, I'm guessing. But <laughs> like with yesterday, with the volatility, with aftermarket trading, after our, um, uh, after, yeah, after the market closing, when they trade after hours, it's volatile. So like, do you, re do you recommend trying to exit by the end of every day or, or it's okay to do it for a couple of days? Maybe just not, not around the earnings release and things like that. Okay. Um, so, um, Arthur, we don't day trade, right? We don't day trade. So, um, when, when day trading is more intraday. Okay. So you trade internally. So you're going to get in, enter and exit your trades within, within that day. All right. Uh, we don't do, we don't do any of that. All right. Our, 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 um, the only system that comes really close to that is our sniper trader system. But even with that, we get in on, on Fridays um, at the end of the market close, before the market close, um, and then we get out on Monday. And what with that system, we have a catalyst. Okay, so we look for, um, uh, where is it? Sniper trader right here. So we look for, um, um, uh, high volume um, options that are coming through the wires, okay, um, on Fridays, okay. But even with that system, we don't trade intraday, okay. So we get in on Fridays, we wait for the, the news or data to come out on, um, on Monday, and that will hopefully um, push up our, um, our options or short if we're going down and then we'll get out. That's the only system that, that, that gets close to that, but we don't do any intraday. Intraday um, would be, you would be trading on a, a, a smaller time frame, okay? A smaller time frame. So uh, I would say anything below 30 minutes, so 15 minute, 10 minute, five minute um, time frame. okay? Um, so we don't do any of that after, um, what was the, you, you, it was Tesla, right? You traded. Yeah. What's the symbol again? T S L A. And, and it went, it went to, uh, 212 today. I went a little bit over 212. <laughs> before it went down again. So what did you do with the trade? I got out. Okay. Yeah. And you 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 got out why? I was hoping it would go a little higher, but as it was going down and then after it went down uh, a bit below the 212 mark, I just exited it. Okay. And your entry was 215? My entry was around 212. 212. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick here. Because it seems like you, you really want to trade, you want to day trade, right? So um, if, you're going to, if you're going to do that, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. But, you know, we don't, we don't do that. We don't do any day trading here. All right, but I'll but go ahead and swing trading. Is that what it's called? What's that? Is it is it swing trading? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, we do more swing trading and position trading. All right, so swing trading is when you you, you basically thirty minutes and higher. So thirty, sixty, right, two forty daily. Daily is more position trade. So we don't do any. Um, we don't do any um, uh, day trading, intraday. In, just think day trading, you're not holding it overnight. You're, in, you're, in, you, you're gonna get in and get out for that day, okay? Now, if you're going to do that, you need two time frames to work with. 
only two. Okay? So if you're going to do that, first of all, you need to just make sure you've got time available. Okay? To watch it because you're going to have to watch it. Okay? You're going to have to watch it. All right? So when you when you trade, you want to trade with the even if you even if you're trading intraday, you want to trade in the direction of the trend. Okay, you can do a counter trend trade, but that's a bit risky. Okay, so if you want to trade, if you want to, if you want to, you need two time frames. Okay, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you need two time frames. You need that daily time frame as your foundation. And then you need your fa a five minute time frame. That's it. So you need your a daily time frame for direction. And then you need a five minute time frame. Okay. Okay. And what you're looking for is you're looking for because you you what you're doing is buying. So you're looking for a stock. It doesn't matter. Right, it doesn't matter if it's Tesla. It doesn't matter. You you need us. You want a stock where it's in the markup phase. It's it's green, right? In that markup phase, and then what you want to look for is on the five minutes. You want to look for an entry. You want it to where it's breaking resistance. All right, and you're gonna buy buy and exit. So you're going to get in and get out on the five minutes. But you need your roadmap, right? You need your roadmap, right? On the daily time frame. If you trade this long, which is what you're doing, you went long here, guess what? It's not in the markup phase. It's in the markdown phase. And although there is some support right here, the price could break support and go lower. Just like it did from here, went lower here, went lower here, went lower here. This is very, very risky. Sellers are in control. So you got in here, above around here at 215, right? Yesterday, and here it is here at 207, right? And we've talked about this. You, you're going against the overall trend. The overall trend right now is down and you're trying to go up. Very, very difficult. If we took one of the stocks we looked at, what was one of the stocks we looked at in Stock Boss? Um, energy stocks, rig. Let's see rig. <clears throat> Okay, if you look here, and this is, it hasn't even given us a buy signal yet on rig. Okay, but we can see buyers coming in. Look at the trades. Look at this. So based on the daily time frame on rig, we can see some buy green candles coming in here. Look at this. There are two very profitable trades already on the five minute time frame. This is very different. This setup, this here is very different from your Tesla trade. Here you go in and it hasn't even really moved yet, but you're starting to get profitable trades. All right, do you see that? Yeah, this, this one looks good. Well, it's not just this one, any one that you pull up, right? Where you go in with where you go in with the trend, all right, will okay, so here is one here. Here's another one here. All right. So don't don't focus on, on, an, on an individual stock. Focus on the process, right? So here is one here. 
on a daily time frame. That's why I said, bring out a daily time frame. All right, so here, here is one here. Buy signal on the break of resistance. Here are buyers coming in. These are buyers. All right, this is the markup phase. And then look at the trades here, All right? Bought here, sold here, bought here, sold here. And what I would do is I would wait for price to break resistance, perhaps right here. Here is resistance right here. All right, perhaps break resistance and give us another buy signal to now continue. Okay, this is the way you're supposed to do it. All right. Otherwise, otherwise it makes it very difficult because you're going to, you're going against your Tesla stock is going down and you're hoping that it goes up and it keeps going lower. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah how do we did in the morning if i started um when it was around 202 it went up it went up by around like 10 dollars so that would have been a, a week it went up to what price I think around two fourteen. Okay, but Bottom your entry, time. your entry was what two fifteen, right? Uh, it was around two twelve after hours yesterday. 12. Okay. Yeah. yeah, not a very good process. Yeah, no. Even if you made money on that trade, it's not a very good process. All right. So, um, bring out, bring out a daily chart. So next time we talk. Let's talk about a daily chart. And if you want to, if you want to trade intraday like you're doing, bring in a five minute chart and then find, find a stock, right? You can look and look at the energy stocks. Those are, those are moving up right now. You, you can find another stock. Make sure that you find a stock that is moving up, right? Broke re it broke resistance on the daily time frame and it's moving higher in that markup phase and then find your entry on your five minute time frame. Otherwise you're wasting time and you can, you know, you're wasting capital too. All right, that's why we are here, right? To figure out the best way to trade, all right? You're going against, I mean, these sellers, as you saw, it went from over, it went from yesterday from, from 212 to 27 overnight, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it can go, it can go lower. So it's a dangerous game and it might not be, it might, it might not mean a lot right now because you're not trading a lot of capital. But let's say you were trading, you know, we have traders that trade a lot of capital, a lot of money, right? So let's say, you know, that's, how many points is that? That's four points. All right. So that's four points in one day. That's a lot. So if you're trading 10 grand, five grand, 20 grand, that hurts really, really bad. All right. So we want to build really good habits because that's the goal is, right, for you and all of our new traders to get to a point where you're trading a large amount of capital. So we have to learn how to manage and trade well with a small amount of capital so that in the future, right, we, be, we have those good habits, okay, to trade a larger amount of capital. That's the goal. Okay. Okay, so two time frames is all you need. Two time frames, the daily, right, the daily and a five minute time frame. When I traded for a day trading firm, which I did, that's what we used. 
and most most day traders right professional day traders that's the two time frames that they use now once they get really good they might tweak things a bit but those are the two time frames you need direction which is your daily and then you need your entry right which is your five minute all right so work on that work on that okay anyone else anyone else Anyone else? Anyone else? All right. And Otto, I like your enthusiasm, but take it slow. Follow a process, the right process. Okay, I will. Okay. All right, guys. I will see you guys. That's it. Again, new rotation, new rotation in stocks, but in the energy sector, not just any stock, the energy sector, all right, so keep building your list. Okay, Naomi, you had a question. Hi, can you hear me? Uh huh, I can hear you. Hi, okay, so I'm new here. I was wondering, do you have welcome, any... welcome, Naomi? Thank welcome. you. Uh, do you have any class that is more for like beginners specifically to learn about the graphs? Because I have no idea like about how to read them or anything. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, welcome, welcome. Um, on um on Tuesdays we have a class for beginners. Okay. Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesdays, uh, same time. Okay, so uh, every Tuesday. All right, so seven p.m. to seven forty-five p.m. Eastern time. Okay, for beginners. Okay. Uh, so come to it. We'll have one on Tuesday next Tuesday. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you guys on Sunday for our um, uh, Forex uh, crypto class. Okay. And futures. See you guys then. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Thanks, David. You're welcome. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.